High school sports started again today. Boys golf teed off at Welshire Golf Course in Denver. Softball and boys tennis start next Thursday. Cross country a couple of days later. And then football will not start until March. One month after student athletes signed their national letter of intent to play in college. That is a timeline that will not work for some high school seniors, at least if they stay in high school in Colorado. Here's Marshall Zellinger. If I had a kiddo who was like I was, needed a senior year to get recruited, I would definitely be looking at going out of state. Colorado's Friday night lights will be dark until March 4th. Actually, that's a Thursday, 30 weeks from today. If the NCAA were to move signing day back to May, this is all done. Everything's fine. Anyone, any state can push back to the spring and it doesn't matter one bit. Tim Jenkins is a player development coach of more than 200 athletes. Across the country, 37 states are scheduled to play high school football this month, next month, or October. Colorado is among 12 that will wait until next year. North Carolina hasn't decided yet. Our spring kickoff is after National Signing Day. You're asking college football coaches to say, hey, there's 37 other states playing on time or before signing day, and you need to wait it out for a Colorado kid who potentially in three more weeks will put out a good game on film. And I just think that's a hard sell to a college football coach. Some well-known student athletes already moved while the football season was still in the air. Senior running back Noah Schmidt posted his goodbye to Grandview on Twitter, saying he was going to Hamilton High School in Chandler, Arizona, which is where a few other Colorado high schoolers have enrolled. Transferring is also on the mind of Heritage High School senior tight end Terrence Ferguson, who already knows he's going to Oregon, but wants the extra reps. Currently, I'm looking into moving out of state to go play my senior season. Transferring um, this year would definitely be a, a business decision. It wouldn't be for social, uh, any, any of that. Cherry Creek senior wide receiver Chase Penry. University of Colorado, Colorado State, UNLV, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, uh, University of Penn. Yeah, those were Ivy League schools. He's got his offers, but threw around the idea of transferring. I think we have a really good chance of being one of the, the top teams in Colorado history, so I wanted to finish off what we started. Henry will stick around for spring ball, but understands why some other seniors need to get out of state to chase greatness. A lot of kids rely on this fall to get the scholarship offers. Having the investigative mind that I do, I checked with Arizona's version of CHASA about eligibility. How can these students transfer from one state to the other just to play sports? The student and their family both have to establish a residence and address. It can't just be a student living on their own or with someone else. Uh, so it seems as though you can prove that, Jeremy, that you're OK to play. Something else I didn't know. A lot of these student athletes try to graduate early in December enroll in the college they're going to, to be able to participate in spring practice, to be able to get those extra reps, to have a chance at being a successful college athlete. And in that scenario, spring football just doesn't work because you're already going to be in college trying to play spring practice. Yeah, great, great report, Marshall. I, I know you, this was a quick turn for you today. Any indication that some of the colleges are going to be flexible here, or is this just the hard date for many of them? Well, first I reached out to the NCAA to see if they were going to change signing day because as you heard from Tim Jenkins, yeah. if they push it from the beginning of February, this could open up better avenues for all these schools that are delaying. I didn't hear back from the NCAA. I was trying to talk with UNC because they're a school that might have some of these borderline athletes that maybe not may not be pro, may have pro potential. They need that senior season, and I wanted to ask UNC, maybe I'll get a chance tomorrow, will they have flexibility or are they going to be if i don't know what you are by february you're going to have to go somewhere else gosh it is so confusing for a lot of people so many things up in the air nice job marshall thank you